what we wanted to do today is, is first of all, uh, sort of frame the, the challenges that, that we face as a city, um, and then propose some solutions to you. And obviously, the, the, the city council, what we're hoping is that um, in the afternoon, we can enter into a problem-solving discussion ar around the challenges that we have and around some of the proposed solutions. Because obviously, it's up to the council uh, on what those solutions are, as well as then enter into a, a discussion on some of the priorities that the council wants to establish for the 2013 budget. Um, most of these challenges, I think you're all aware of. Um, reserve levels is number one on the list. Um, as you know, our reserve levels have been depleted uh, over the last several years. We're actually right now below the amount that we are required to set the budget at, which is 4%. Um, we're required to set a budget reserve level of 4%. But ideally, what we would like to be at is, is really something over 16% is really where we'd like to see our reserves. Over, something over 16% is about two months worth of reserve levels. Um, 8.3 is, is one month, so we'd really like to see at least two months uh, of reserve levels, and right now we're actually below uh, 4%. Uh, declining revenues, um, no surprise there, I mean, that's, that's not news to anybody we have, uh, declining revenues. And we're going to get into more details on this when Robert and Kate go into their uh, budget presentation, but I really just wanted to sort of frame what the, the challenges uh, that we face are for you now before we get into that presentation. Uh, we also face increasing costs uh, and what we're talking about here are um, you know bargaining agreements, uh, medical inflation, those sorts of things. We do have increasing costs and when Robert and Kate go through their, their presentation um, you'll see those in there. Um, debt, again this is no surprise uh, to anyone, the, the debt situation that we have. What I will say, though, is, and, and you all know this, uh, is the, the challenges that we face with our debt are related to, to revenue bonds. And I want to make it very clear that the city is living up to its promise uh, when it comes to revenue bonds. And what we, that promise that we made when it, when, when it comes to revenue bonds is that we promised a stream of revenue to these bond investors. And we are living up to that promise. Now, those revenue forecasts, uh, in some cases, uh, are not meeting what the expectations were when those bonds were originally sold. But we are living up to our promise when it comes to, to revenue bonds, and that was dedicating those sources of revenue to those bonds. Um, unfunded liabilities. Uh, we have several unfunded liabilities uh, that we need to deal with, workers' comp being one of them. Uh, we have some projects in the works right now that we're looking at ways to, to reduce that liability. Um, your OPEB or your post-employment uh, retirement health uh, benefits. Um, you're going to hear in the financial presentation about that liability. Um, currently, we are on a pay-as-you-go system, so we're not setting any money aside for those retirees when they retire. And that's something that we're going to talk about this afternoon, that we really need to have a discussion uh, around beginning to set aside money for those retirees and then looking at um, those coming new into the city and how we treat those potentially differently when it comes to uh, retiree health insurance. We have deferred capital maintenance uh, issues as well. We're just not keeping up with our deferred capital maintenance. Same with other operational maintenance um, due to the downturn. And again, we're, we're not alone in this. There are many um, cities across the country that are in the same and even worse um, conditions than we are. Um, and really trying to maintain our core level of services with the level of revenue um, that we expect over the next uh, year, next two years, next three years. And that's one of the things that you'll see when Robert and Kate give their presentation, is we do give you a snapshot of what the next three years uh, is gonna look like. Um, and then unanticipated um, expenditures uh, as well, you know, natural disasters, the, the Collin fire, the Washoe Drive fire, those sorts of things, and then as well as, uh, as, well as special projects. Um, Fire deconsolidation, I mean, that's a big one, and, and you all know this. Um, and, and really what the issue here is, is that we have a SAFER grant um, that funds currently 10 firefighters. Uh, we just applied for a new SAFER grant that was approved by the last city council for next fiscal year um, for, I think it was 14 more or 24 more? 26. 26. 26 more uh, firefighters. Um, Deconsolidation, um, you know, puts that in some jeopardy on, on those grants, and so that's an issue and that's a challenge 
um, that we face moving forward. And then uh, regional economy, I mean, just heard from uh, Mr. Bonifant on the regional economy, uh, as well as, as the image. And it's, it's obviously uh, important what our image uh, is to, to the outside world. And if we can address how our image is perceived um, outside of the region, um, that's going to determine our success in, in, in attracting new investment um, to the area. Um, I didn't want to just give you the, the challenges, though. Uh, what we want to talk about is what are some of the solutions uh, that we think we need to engage in uh, moving forward. And this is where, in the afternoon, we really like to engage in a discussion uh, around problem solving on, on how to deal with these. And so what we as staff have come up with is to create strategies that foster um, economic progress and stability. And we're going to go into these solutions uh, in more detail in the afternoon, but I, again, I just wanted to give you a summary right now uh, of what those solutions potentially look like and then solicit your input uh, in, in crafting those. Funding core services, uh, obviously number one. I mean, right now, we are at or even below core services uh, in some areas of the city. Um, looking at a, an asset action plan, do we have underperforming assets that we need to get rid of? Uh, we're looking at consolidating space uh, within 1 East 1st Street, uh, the Sinclair building. Those are the types of things that I'm talking about here under, under uh, asset management, as well as looking at some of the strategies that were outlined in the, uh, the CB Richard Ellis report uh, that was given to council some months ago. Um, continue with our, our debt management um, plans there. Uh, again, we look where we can restructure uh, that debt and, and look at ways to, to reduce our liability there. And then funding of liability and reserve replenishment. Um, it's critical, I think, that as a city, we begin to address these issues. If we don't start setting money aside today for some of the liabilities we have, at some point in the future, and I don't know what that time period is, at some point in the future, if we don't begin to fund those retiree health benefits and those workers' comp benefits, at some point, it's going to bankrupt um, the city moving forward. And then reserve replenishment uh, is critical. As I said, we're, we're right below the, the current 4% uh, minimum amount uh, that's required, and it's critical for our financial stability and really the way outside rating agencies and bondholders perceive the city that we be able to replenish those reserves. And then reduction of, of future employee liabilities, and you'll see in the afternoon some strategies around all of these uh, items and, and really reducing future employees is looking at do we need a multi-tiered system where the current employees still get the benefits that they get but new employees coming into the city uh, are on a different you know a different structure a different set of, of benefit uh, of rules and obviously that takes negotiation uh, with the unions but I think it's critical that we take that two-phase approach on those liabilities that we begin to fund it number one, and then we look at ways of reducing that so that it doesn't continue to grow um, in the future.